The European spacecraft Rosetta has made a final fly past of Earth on its way to discover what makes a comet. Scientists are hoping the probe will intercept a comet in deep space when it reaches it in 2014. This morning, Rosetta used the planet's gravitational pull to propel it closer towards its target. Our science correspondent, Palab Ghosh, has more. Two, one, top. Décollage. Rosetta was launched in 2004 on a mission to discover whether life on Earth had its origins in outer space. It spent the past five years on a long and winding journey through our solar system. It's already been around the Earth twice and once around Mars. It's done so in order to build up enough speed to intercept a comet that's currently billions of miles away. The spacecraft made its final swing by Earth today before it set off on the final leg of its ambitious mission to approach and land on a comet hurtling through space. The spacecraft will give the first close-up view of a comet's tail forming as it approaches the Sun. And then, once settled in orbit, it'll begin the trickiest part of the mission, to set down a lander on the surface of a speeding comet. If the landing's successful, the probe will take samples and analyse them to see if comets are made of the same stuff that kick-started life on Earth. They can tell us an awful lot about the history of the solar system. They're the building blocks of the planets um, and they may also contain the building blocks of life. They um, contain a lot of water um, and other volatiles and early in the solar system's history um, they may have played a, a role in bringing those volatiles to Earth. In four and a half years' time, the Rosetta spacecraft that's just skimmed past the Earth will help answer one of the biggest questions in planetary science. Did comets help bring life to Earth when they bombarded our planet four and a half billion years ago? Hello, Ghosh, BBC News. Let's have a look at the weather forecast now with Thomas Schaffernacker and there's some really rather